What's up everyone, Orion here, and a big new update just dropped for EA Sports PGA Tour, bringing the Season 11 content, and this update adds four new courses into the game and a new legend as a playable pro. So today I'm gonna cover all the new content that dropped in the update, and if you all get some enjoyment and wanna see more new news coverage videos like this in the future, drop a like and subscribe for plenty more content here on the Gamer Building YouTube channel. Starting with the huge one. You know, I know the four new courses is amazing, but they added Jack Nicholas as a playable pro in the game. So they added the first legend to the game, 99 overall, Jack Nicholas. You can see his stats over there to the right. And that is awesome. This is sick that they added Jack Nicholas here. You can play as him. You can play against him. That is so cool. Now, I wanted to point out that Jack Nicholas was the only playable legend or other playable pro added to the game. I did go through and check the list. There was no more added playable pros in this Season 11 update. Now, moving on to the four courses that they added to the game, you had the Augusta National Par 3 course finally available to play in the game. And then you could also play now all the courses that will host a major tournament in 2024. You have Pinehurst number two added to the game, the host of the US Open this year. You have Valhalla Golf Club in Louisville, Kentucky, which is hosting the PGA Championship. And then you also have Royal Troon added to the game, which is the host of the Open Championship. So honestly, I feel like this is the biggest update they've done for the game, adding four courses, a all the courses that host a major tournament in 2024 i am so excited to dive into these courses and check them out uh, now i will be posting videos of playthroughs of each courses on the channel so stay tuned for that uh, this is not going to be a long video today um, now they did have a new season pass added as well like they usually do a new pro pass so of course the season 11 adds a new pro pass you have the premium tier and the free tier now the big rewards for me this season are the jack nicholas clubs that you can get uh, so i'm going to scroll through just so you all can see i'm not going to highlight every single item in here but i definitely want to highlight the jack nicholas club set because uh, you can get the jack nicholas putter irons wedges and wood so as we take a look here this is the jack nicholas putter that they have now these are all in the premium tiers so this one's at level 25 and then the next one you unlock is the jack nicholas irons and which is at pro pass level 40 now that's the premium pro pass and then you have the jack nicholas woods which are at tier level 50 of the premium pass and then lastly, you have the Jack Nicholas Wedges at level 57 of the Premium Pass. So I am actually probably going to get this, this Premium Pass just for the Jack Nicholas Clubs. And the final tier, as we go ahead and take a look at this, the final tier, you actually, on the free tier, get two legendary fittings. So you have the Jordan Spieth 2015 Masters Wedge Spec, but also the Jack Nicholas 1965 Masters Ball Spec. So it has 84 boosted power, 91 accuracy, 93 control, and 68 recovery. And I wanted to highlight, look at the stats on this legendary Jordan Spieth wedge spec. Look at the accuracy, 97, 94 control, and 91 recovery. That is a really good legendary wedge spec there. So I also wanted to highlight they did add Jack Nicholas specific challenges here in the challenge section of this game. So you have Jack Nicholas memorable moments. You have 1970 Open Championship, 1972 US Open, 1975 Masters, the 1986 Masters, the 2005 Open Championship, and the 2010 Long Exhibition Putt. Uh, so those are the memorable moments, but you also have the best of Jack Nicholas as well. Uh, so one moment from the players, PGA Championship, US Open, the Open, and Masters. Now these are actually all 18 around challenges as well. So you can see this first one, go bogey free, tie jack score of 65, seven under, and beat, beat jack score of 65, eight under. Uh, so these are actually gonna be a lot of fun. I'm actually really excited to play through these and they actually showcase the uh, new courses. So you have, well, of course, the Players Championship at TPC Sawgrass was already in the game, but the PGA Championship one is at Louisville, Kentucky there, Valhalla, 
and then you have pinehurst number two featured here for the u.s open and royal troon featured there for the open and of course the masters so that that's really cool that's going to be a lot of fun so I wanted to point out that I didn't notice any changes to gameplay with this update or any other features besides what I covered in this video. Now keep in mind when I'm recording this video, there's been no posted patch notes yet. Uh, so full patch notes could have been posted by the time this video goes live. But when they go live patch notes, I will link them in a pinned comment down below. And if you all find anything else that I missed in this video, let me know down in a comment. Uh, I did not notice any changes to gameplay or any other changes now i want to say whenever a new update drops the first thing i usually do is go into the career mode and i did not notice any changes in the career mode the main thing i look for is can we customize can we play two rounds and three round tournaments so no you can't so you can still only play one round of four rounds or quick round so they still have not added two to three round formats in the career mode i really was hoping that this would be the update they added that but unfortunately, that has not been added into the game yet. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of bug fixes and other changes uh, behind the scenes in this update, uh, particular, particularly bug fixes. Uh, so I will post the patch notes when they're live in a pinned comment down below. But those are the changes that I noticed. I did not see uh, many change. I did not see any new online uh, content or anything like that. Now, of course, you're gonna have new mastery quests for each golf course as well. Any of the new golf courses added to the game, they have the mastery quest, including, of course, the Augusta National Par Three course. There's specific challenges for that one. Valhalla, Royal Troon, and Pinehurst Number Two. So before we close out this video, I have to play one hole as Jack Nicholas iconic here at augusta national hole number one let's do this it is so awesome that they added jack nicholas with this update i hope they add more legends of the fairway into the second cut here at hole number one Okay, so I'm going to go with the finesse shot here. Going to go full loft. Try to plant this one close. Give herself a birdie here as our first hole playing as Jack Nicklaus. Now, I'm playing on True Silm here, and the wind is 8 to 12 mile an hour here. This could be a good one. What a shot. Let's and go. The first iron shot of the day and absolutely pipes it. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Looks like we could get a birdie here. My first hole playing as Jack Nicholas. A little left to right here. Let's go. You bet. Easy as can be. That's in for birdie. And there you have it. First hole. Augusta National playing as Nicholas. We get the birdie. What a golf shot that was. Missed the, missed the fairway off the tee, but made a great shot there. Love to see that. So there you have it. Those are the major features in Season 11 update. I am so excited to dive into these courses and play as Jack Nicholas. That was epic playing hole number one of Augusta National as Jack Nicholas in, in the true sum settings. That, that was awesome. Got a birdie. Love to see that. Uh, but stay tuned for plenty more EA Sports PGA Tour content and other sports game content. There are new videos every single day here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. And I have a full EA Sports PGA Tour career mode going on right now. We are in the Tour Championship right now. So tune into that here on the channel. Just check the channel page. It's been such a fun series. But there are also plenty of other sports games career modes here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. The home of Ryan Gamer, the multi-sport athlete. I will see you all in the next one. You all have to let me know what you thought about this update. I think it's awesome that they added four new courses. Jack Nicholas. I was hoping to see more playable pros added to the game, especially more for the career mode. Uh, that's something that I would love to see much more playable pros. Uh, we did not get it with this update, so maybe an update in the future we will get that. But it's nice to see all the courses for the 2024 major championships here. 
that's really cool but was really hoping for more playable pros and uh more stuff added to the career mode uh specifically a two three round tournaments but there's a, a a lot of other things they could add to the career mode as well you all are all legends i will see you next time as always have a fantastic day everybody